Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. In today's video, I wanted to talk about pros and cons of ringbound planners. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in seeing, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's start off on a positive note and start with the pros of using ringbound planners. So the first pro uh, to using a ring planner is the fact that they have some type of closure. So these two uh, have a snap closure. There are planners like the Filofax Domino that has an elastic closure as well. And the reason why that's a good thing is the fact that, you know, everything remains intact. Uh, nothing is falling out of your planner. You can just close it and you are good to go. That's especially a good thing if you are carrying your planner on the go with you. You know that, uh, you know, it's not going to open in your bag and things could fall out or your pages could get bent. So that is the first um, pro to using ring bound planners. Another pro is the fact that they come in different sizes. So for, for example, this is a personal size. This one here is an A5. They come in many other sizes as well, which is really nice because it does give plenty of options. So which is a nice benefit depending on what you will be using your planner for. Uh, you do have many options to choose from. Another uh, pro to ring bound planners is the flexibility of uh, adding inserts, or taking inserts out. Again, because there are rings, you're able to just open, uh, take out whatever you need. You can switch sections around, you can take inserts out, which is really nice. So for example, you know, when 2020 is done, I can take those inserts out and put in the 2021 inserts. You can also add things into your planner. For example, um, with my kid's school schedule that was emailed to me, I just printed that off, resized, and added it to my planner. So again, you do have the flexibility of customizing the planner however you like, which is really nice. So that's um, you know one of the main reasons why I love using rings. So the final pro of using uh, ring planners is that you're able to uh, change the ring size. So for example, let's say these are 25 millimeter rings. There are, you know, those rings that you can purchase and uh, just switch them out to, let's say a bigger size, which is 30 millimeters. Um, again, you know, let's say I don't have enough space, which I guess technically is the, <laughs> the case for me because my planner is just very stuffed. But um, one thing to keep in mind, if you are going to change the ring size is the fact that everything tends to push over to the right. So you'll notice with people that have changed their ring size, uh, their side tabs tend to rub on the pen loop. So I've seen, you know, where people have just taken the pen loop off altogether. Some people have um, decided not to use side tabs and just went ahead and used top tabs. So again, I highly recommend that you do your research before changing your um, rings into a bigger size. Now, another reason why people might want to change the rings out is to change the color. So, you know, again, there are silver rings. So let's say, you know, I wanted to change and have gold hardware, then I can purchase uh, gold rings for this planner. So Again, that's another uh, beauty of the ring planners is that you can play around and, um, you know, choose whatever ring size or ring color that you like uh, for your planner. Okay, so now moving on to the cons of ring bound planners. The first con that I can think of is that ring planners can't fold on themselves. And sometimes that could be inconvenient, you know, if you're out and about and you need to write something down, you have the planner on your lap and it's kind of moving from side to side, it's about to tip over. Uh, that's, you know, definitely a con. Whereas, for example, with uh, a coiled planner, you can fold it on itself. Same thing with a happy planner. Again, you can fold it on itself, put that in your lap and, uh, you know, write whatever you need to write down. So that's the first con to um, ring planners. Another con to using ring planners is that the rings tend to get in the way. So, um, you know, when I want to sit down and write, I, I'm okay if I want to write down on the right hand side, 
But if it's something I want to write on the left, you'll notice that my hand starts to um, rub against the rings, which makes it very inconvenient sometimes. So that's when a lot of people just, um, you know, take the insert out and lay the inserts flat on the desk and then you can write whatever you want to. So that's how a lot of people plan, uh, you know, their day or their week or whatnot. So it just makes it a lot easier so that your hand isn't rubbing against the rings. But again, that could be very inconvenient to some people. So that is something to keep in mind. Another con to ring planners is the fact that they uh, can get very expensive and the reason for that is the fact that a lot of ring planners don't come with inserts. So for example, this Louis Vuitton medium ring agenda basically comes as a cover so you have to purchase everything separately. So again, you know, you're looking at buying dashboards, you're looking at purchasing dividers, the actual inserts themselves, um, you know, your, your monthly, your weekly, that kind of stuff. So that can get very expensive, um, especially if you're ordering these things online. Whereas again, you know, with your coiled um, planner, all these things come built in. So you've got the dividers, you do have a pocket that comes with some of them as well. And um, as well as your, you know, inserts, whether that's monthly, weekly or daily. So that is something uh, also to note with the uh, ring planners, like I said, is they can get very pricey. The final uh, con to ring planners and this has started happening with mine. So as you can see, my uh, rings are starting to have gaps in them. And you know, again, I've had this issue happen with uh, many planners that I've used in the past, whether they are uh, Filofax, Kiki K, Louis Vuitton. Um, I think eventually you will experience that at uh, some time or another. I have been able to uh, fix that problem in the past. Unfortunately, with this planner, for some reason, I haven't been able to get that fixed. I know I can definitely take it into Louis Vuitton and have that repaired. Unfortunately, I don't live near a store. So, um, you know, I'm not able to have them fixed at this time, which is not a big deal. Although, you know, sometimes it is very inconvenient when I'm flipping my pages. Uh, you know, sometimes the uh, pages do get caught in the gaps and it's, it's a little hard to, uh, you know, flip them over. But, you know, it is what it is. But hopefully I will be able to get this fixed because it'll just make my planning that much more easier. So that is it, you guys. Those are the pros and cons of ring bound planners. Let me know in the comment section below what uh, pros or cons you can think of uh, or you've experienced when using ring planners. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye-bye.